voting is down all across the state of South Dakota. So it's like we talk about this and that's voter suppression, like what went on with Kemp and Stacey Abrams in Georgia. But then additional to this, in the state of South Dakota, there's other really weird shit that goes on too. Like some people in our state will register as Republican, even if they're not Republican, to play a better game. You see what I'm saying? For me personally, since I have been registered to vote since I was 18, a few years back, I was wanting to change my status from Republican to Democratic. If you email down to your local building, specifically if you're in Pennington County, they send you paperwork saying this is how you change your category of political affiliation, and it's not the right paperwork. And I had to email them back and be like, hey, you have not sent me the right paper. They basically sent me a PDF pamphlet of what it is to vote. And I had to explain to the worker at the treasury building that like these are the forms people need to change their political affiliation. And then that person was unresponsive. And then I had to get a supervisor on the line. So there's that. There's like the fact that you aren't even getting the right paperwork that you need to register to vote or to register to vote with your affiliated party or your preferred party. Then... Four years ago at the last presidential election, I went down to my polling place and you know what they're doing? These little old ladies who have volunteered to hand out ballots and oversee the voting procedure at respective polling places, they yell out loudly, she's a Democrat. Like, bitch, I'm going to get shot in the parking lot. And then talking to my friends, my other Democratic friends, I come to find out I'm not the only one that that's happening to. And they're not supposed to be doing that shit. And we need to report this shit. Do you mean to tell me voting is down in South Dakota and also people are not getting the proper paperwork to get registered to vote or vote with their affiliated party of their choosing? And also, they are seemingly being intimidated out of their polling places with passive threats of announcing what political affiliation they are in a red state. All of that should be illegal. Does our governor give a shit? No. I'm just, I guess I'm just glad that South Dakota ain't a swing state and that we don't hold any major points because, like, I'm telling you, our state is licking that Trump poll. They are licking it.